Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So most global equity markets are down a little bit lower today as uh, everybody's pretty much talking about uh, the Greek default on debt, which is very much on the uh, on the horizon should things not get worked out. They've basically got till the end of this weekend. It's a final opportunity for them to all, to all meet up and they've got that final payment to make to the IMF of uh, 1.2 billion euros on the 30th of June. Uh, and everybody's kind of playing hardball now and it's going to go straight down to the wire. So. As such, most uh, global equity markets struggling a little bit just now to get their head above water, with 17,747 being the potential support level. Almost got a death cross on moving averages. Next potential support is at 17,561. Other technicals are relatively neutral, indicating this still has room further to go lower. And bearing in mind, we are still historically at re relatively near historic highs. UK 100 looks ugly um, since it broke this potential trend line. It's now broken through multiple levels of potential support with um, 6686 being the next uh, potential level, then 6589. Other technicals are neutral, um, getting quite close to being oversold, but not quite yet. And just the candles that we're seeing just now, um, there is a, a lot of downward pressure still coming this potential way. And we've got the FOMC meeting starts today, uh, culminates tomorrow. Uh, and I think a lot of people are obviously thinking, well, let's see what. US interest rate impact could have on global growth. Uh, I think many commentators actually think that the FOMC session will be relatively dovish, so that's why we're not seeing huge moves in the US dollar. And when we look at cable, euro dollar, etc., um, you'll see dollar weakness across the board there. But Japan 225, uh, not a huge amount, still trading between two ranges, uh, 20,087. Uh, to 20,868 is the next potential resistance uh, and we are hugging this potential trend line just now as well. We're below the 21 period SME and that 55 period SME is uh, catching up pretty quickly and as ever the other technicals are not giving a lot of technical signals. So moving on to dollar yen, um, long like, not long like a candles but kind of doji formations last three sessions, um, Thursday's candle is quite telling, seems to be struggling to get above 124.42. 21 period SMA uh, is providing short term support, uh, and the other technicals are not doing a huge amount either. Uh, should we break below that? 121.87 is the next potential support. And um, the Bank of Japan Governor Kuroda has come out and said that his comments from last week talking about that yen is already too weak uh, were taken out of context, and that's you know kind of given dollar yen a little bit more support relative to the other FX pairs, which we'll come back to in a second. So the big tropical storm out in Texas is, closed, is shutting down some oil production facilities over there, some refinery production facilities there. Um, so we are seeing, uh, not uh, we, the markets did come off a little bit yesterday, not a huge amount, still had a negative day, but we're just ever so slightly ticking up a uh, little bit higher off the session lows as that storm started to kick in. $59.50 is uh, still the potential pivot level uh, and an important potential support for uh, traders to be aware of. Looking at gold, gold is uh, is interesting, especially with the FOMC uh, and just look when we see the dot and moves in the dollar. Uh, I'd be so very surprised if the FOMC were incredibly dovish, but the inside track for many analysts, everybody's all talking down the dollar and uh, what the statement will be like at 7 p.m. tomorrow. And uh, you'll actually be able to see that, and that's UK time. And what you'll be able to see is we actually have a webinar at 7, uh, 7 p.m., which you guys can join can join in. Uh, if you just go to support and then um, live trader events on the platform here, um, you'll be able to sign up to that session as well. You might even see it on your logon screen. So that should be a very interesting session. So we finish up with your dollar and GBP USD. So your dollar pushing up a little bit higher. Uh, short term potential resistance, one spot 1370-ish. Uh, and Obviously, long-term potential support one spot 1940, uh, one spot 1642. We're a good bit away from there just now. We're just trying to get out of this kind of. It could be a tr symmetrical triangle formation. We could do with getting a break above above uh, the tips of these candles, which would then lead on to here, which then ultimately would lead on to here. Uh, what's quite interesting about the euro is it's not getting that much of a pummeling, considering everything that's uh, being said about Greece right now. And um, I think that's telling more so about the strength of the uh, strength of the U.S. dollar rather than the strength of the euro. But it's uh, it's kind of holding fast and and, and not um, being being bullied around with all this uh, fundamental data about Greece. So we finish up with GBP USD. Um, it's just been going great guns last couple of sessions. Each time it sells off, it's been getting pushed back up. So sterling looking pretty strong. Uh, Breaking through one spot 56, so it's a technical breakout. Looking at one spot 57.43 is the next potential resistance. We've got a bullish crossover in the MACD, and if you look at the RSI and the slow stochastic, we have a fair bit to go before we get into overbought territory. 
Um, so uh, GBPUSD actually looking pretty bullish in the uh, in the short term. So that looks that does look very very interesting. So economic data wise, we do have a whole host of uh, UK centric data, loads of CPI, PPI, uh, and RPI data, all due at 9:30 UK time. And then we got the ZEW business report, which is a big German piece of data. That's obviously going to impact Euro dollar, and um, the UK data is going to be good for UK 100 and GBP USD. Uh, Wednesday, we got the FOMC uh, statement at 7 p.m. UK time, Bank of England NPC minutes, employment data, and a whole host of CPI uh, inflation data from the Eurozone as well, and of course, oil inventory data at 1.30. Uh, sorry, at 3.30 uh, UK time. So as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart forum. Lots of cool bits of analysis here for Michael Hewson, um, who's been looking at Germany 30, Euro 50, UK 100, T-notes, T-bonds, a lot of major FX. Make sure you keep your eyes on insights for the inside track from our global analyst team as to the impact of Greece on the global economic markets. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.